Star 105.7 FM is Binghamton's premier hot adult contemporary station. For over 30 years, Star has been playing favorites by popular artists like Nickelback, Katy Perry, and Coldplay. The morning show with Lori and Joshua B. gives your local news, weather, and celebrity updates all morning long, with a certain flair that attracts those active, on-the-go, in-the-know listeners. Having a broadcast range that encompasses over a 60-mile radius and covers 10 counties in the southern tier and northern Pennsylvania mean that 36,300 listeners are tuned in to receive your message. Along with local DJs, Star 105.7 FM also carries the hugely successful John Tess Show, Hollywood Confidential with Lisa Gibbons, and Kid Kelly's Backtracks USA. Star 105.7 FM's programming attracts a young listener base of successful 20 to 30-something female homeowners, which means Star 105.7 FM speaks to this area quintessential soccer moms and first-time buyers, the first consumer demographic to attract and keep for the long term. In addition to keeping the airwaves active, Star 105.7 7 FM is also grooving in the digital realm. Listeners can tune in and listen from anywhere in the world on our streaming station at star1057fm.com. We also reach our loyal listeners through weekly email blasts and the new Star 1057 text messaging club, allowing us to keep in touch with our listeners and provide them with current updates on concerts, events, giveaways, and more. Join Star 1057 FM and be a part of a station that brings Binghamton its real music variety. No justice, Lori. It's just, you know, you try to run a little mom and pop Pez museum, and this is what happens. The company that makes Pez candy is suing a California museum, seeking to have a giant Pez dispenser created by the owners destroyed. <laughs> the federal lawsuit against the giant snowman Pez dispenser at the Museum of Pez Memorabilia in Burlingame, which is apparently in California, never heard of it, uh, amounts to a trademark infringement, said a rep from the company, and should be destroyed, shredded. Uh, Gary Dawson, his wife Nancy, who owned the museum and created the giant dispenser, said they are they are simply puzzled by the lawsuit. "Quote: I didn't know you need to be authorized to make a work of art." They said that a giant Pez dispenser is a work of art. You would think yes. Pez would be happy; they would be proud to know that somebody built, made a, a handmade Pez machine, a Pez shrine, thing. if you will. Yes, and you know the thing <laughs> is, this is the second time this family has been sued by the Pez people. The first time it was to change the name of their Pez Memorabilia Museum. It's currently called Museum of Pez Memorabilia. I don't know what it used to be called. I think if Pez is so upset about this and they want this Pez dispenser destroyed, they should really do it sort of like a piñata type thing. String that baby up, uh, jam it full of Pez, and let the kids go crazy. Oh, that's creative. You know, they make the nice footage. Let's make a commercial of that. It's a amazing variety from Daughtry. Feels like tonight's Star 105.7 waking up on a Thursday morning.